yesterday I wanted to do something a little bit different. I hopped on a party boat out of Sheep's Head Bay in Brooklyn, New York City. This one's called the Ocean Eagle 5. It was with uh, Captain Greg and a uh, really great crew, just super nice people. You know, it was a small group of us out that day and I had a blast. You know, I've been wanting to go out and make a trigger fish video all summer. I just, it's been out of my mind, just focused on other things. But yeah, we caught a ton of fish. We, you know, it was a bottom fishing trip, you know, focused primarily around Porgy. But, um, you know, I know this area pretty well and I just wanted to mix it up, toss some lures out there, do some high low rigs and uh, yeah, they provided some fresh shrimp and I hadn't fished with bait pretty much all summer. So I took the opportunity to throw a high low rig on with a four ounce weight, dropped it down and got on some really nice trigger fish. Porgy as well. Porgy, you know, and other species, there there's some cow nose rays that were all over the place this day. A couple other anglers got into them and you know, dogfish, black sea bass, um, a couple random tatog catches. Yeah, just a good day, you know. I had a lot of fun. The the crew was really patient with everyone. You can you can tell you know, the captain knew this area like the back of his hand i mean he was captain greg was really awesome about just explaining on the loudspeaker what was going on in his head with the sonar his next moves what how he was feeling about the spot how close he was to certain pieces of structure and drop-offs and wrecks and it, you know if you know how sonar works it was really in tune with you know the fishing we were doing simultaneously so like anytime he would explain something it, it was totally in sync with you know the drops that i was making so i really appreciated that you know it's um, that goes far you know just being in sync the captain and the crew and uh, everyone that's fishing you know it was a good time and you know i got on some really nice triggers uh, this this big fat trigger fish was uh made some nice steaks and you know i wanted to go out there and catch some fresh fish for the week and i got a cooler full of fresh fish so i thought it was a success and i'll tell you what captain greg said it was a slow day and i kind of knew that going in i was looking at the tides and when we were going to be out there and I felt like it was going to be a slow day too and if that's a slow day on the Ocean Eagle I want to know what it's like to be on a, a hot day because I thought it was really good fishing and yeah just all positive things to say about the Ocean Eagle 5 I'll be back for sure I felt like the rate was very fair and just a good time you know if you're a beginner if you're advanced i saw both sides and the crew was patient with everyone i learned a lot while i was on it and i can't wait to be back so before i get into the jerk burgers i just wanted to show you what the trigger fish fillet looks like with no seasoning or anything added to it i just cooked up this steak filet and uh, you can see it's it's almost more similar to a crab um, maybe to tog but uh, it kind of flakes off you know when you cook it uh, very moist very tender meat um, honestly if you were to put this side by side with chicken I think that you could barely tell the difference I think the trigger fish would have a little more oil to it you know it being a fish but it's it's really mild meat and almost more mild than porgy and really really delicious but yeah I was really craving some just some Caribbean spices and just kind of that that realm of heat of those peppers that that are kind of cooked with in the Caribbean and so I was thinking you know some kind of cheaper um, saltine based uh, croquet or burger i'll call these jerk burgers but you know just playing off of uh jerk chicken kind of seasonings and rubs and incorporating it into the trigger fish and uh turning it into like a patty and it turned out really good and then i had a little bit of a 
scotch bonnet, kind of a radish, purple radish, cabbage rather, and uh, arugula mixed together. And yeah, it was really good. Um, probably one of my favorite burgers I've I've made. I haven't made very many burgers, but I've been experimenting a lot with different black bean burgers and recipes lately and just having a lot of fun cooking. But yeah, this turned out really good. I was happy with it. It was spicy. It was moist. And it was just nice to get those Caribbean spices that I was craving. And thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.